Hello and welcome to the Academy. So today we are going to take up Hindu newspaper editorials. So the first editorial is India Disability Inclusion and Power of Buy. So what is power of buy? So what it means in this article? The power of buy. So as of now, any schemes or act related to person with disabilities are always like giving for them. So the schemes, the social security schemes, the education, the hospitality and reservation is always provided for them. They are always at the receiving end of any kind of schemes and any guarantees or securities sometimes also seen as charities given to resolve their problems. However, the time has arrived according to this article to recognize the work provided by them. So hence education and work by them has a significant value to Indian economy and Indian society. So by this we should recognize their agency and not just they should be seen as receivers of benefits. The time has arrived that we need to recognize them as givers and contributors to the economy. So in this backdrop, the ILO, the International Labor, uh, Labor Organization has iterated that and reported that the economy would grow between 3% to 7% if person with disabilities are included in economy. So exclusion of person with disabilities is costing for economies across the world. So sooner or later we need to recognize the work and the contribution provided by them in order to bring socio-economic development for the country. So before looking into how to recognize the value they have been adding to the economy or what should be our measures in order to include them into our economy, we need to consider the problems they are facing in terms of inclusion. So we look into the problems of inclusions with regards to person with disabilities. So the first is there is a intersectionality problem. So what is this intersectionality problem? So intersectionality problem is nothing but among the person with disabilities, the, um, the fewer sections like gender, like rural people, like old age are more disadvantageous compared to the overall section of person with disabilities. Example in rural areas there is high dependency on agriculture and there is lack of alternatives or lack of economic alternatives and then there is a lack of penetration of benefits into rural areas and then there is lack of last mile connectivity or last mile delivery of goods and services and then uh, the government has also provided the unique identity number of person with disabilities for person with disabilities but this card and identity is not being rolled out to people who are suffering from disabilities in rural areas. So hence the problem of intersectionality is not considered when it comes to inclusion and then in the second point there is also said that in this article the current systems whether economic or social systems are not meant for inclusion. So here the profit oriented capitalism, in the profit oriented capitalism the employers are reluctant to hire the person with disabilities because there is added cost in order to uh, buy them the assistive devices or assistive infrastructure in order to access the labor force or the working area. So due to, the, due to this additional burden, the capitalist who are, who are running the companies for profits is least bothered in considering the person with disabilities into their companies. And also there is a rapid urbanization where this rapid urbanization has no room for disability sensitive infrastructure. 
and then there is inaccessibility to labor markets which goes against the United Nation Convention on Rights of Person with Disabilities which talks about inclusion of person with disabilities into developmental aspects. So, however, there is a uh, exclusion of person with disabilities from the labor markets due to the additional costs which need to be bared by the employers. And then the third problem is there is a uh, insensitivity in the government functionaries. For example, the public distribution system delivery where the person with disability system need to uh, manually and physically uh, go to the PDS shops in order to access the food. Here the person with disability faces problems in order to access food and it hinders his food security. So the inclusion should come with the reforms in the government functionaries where the insensitivity towards the person with disability need to be addressed. So, hence by moving forward we look into what should be done in order to include them and give them the justice as well as reap the benefits of their contribution towards our economy. So, the first is we need to recognize the benefits for economy with their inclusion. There should be a proper recognition given for their contribution to the economy and this could change attitudes and perceptions of the employers. So, precisely we need to uh, contact the employers federations where we need to create awareness and attitudinal changes in order to include person with disabilities into the employment. So, first and foremost we need to recognize in exact numerical terms about uh, their contribution to the economy and then we need to sensitize the employers federation to include person with disabilities into their companies and give employment. And second is the last mile connectivity. So, this is uh, very much important in terms of uh, delivering the benefits to person with disability who are residing in rural areas where the capacity building of community leaders to deliver the benefits till grassroots levels need to be taken up. So, here the community leaders need to be sensitized so that they will take the benefits till the grassroots level and here the person with disabilities get empowered. So, in this backdrop the NGOs the civil society organizations, the panchayats plays a crucial role and then coming to third point. So, here the there should be a inclusion of PWD that is a person with disability sensitive infrastructure in urban areas. So, that the ongoing rapid urbanization should not exclude them into daily livelihood and realizing their livelihood in urban areas. So, that they will settle in the semi urban areas. So, our rapid urbanization should include their problems and be sensitive towards their needs and requirements. And fourth point is there is already one program going on that is PARC which is conducted by uh, ILO and IFAD where it will uh, assign the disabled person, the person with disabled the leadership and then these leaders who are person with disabled will act as a carriers of benefits towards others or towards other person with disabilities. So, here these uh, person with disabilities acts as disability inclusion facilitators where they even act as role model because their uh, compassion and empathy towards their uh, fellow person with disabilities. So, that they will be encouraged in contribution to the society. And so, these developed uh, disability inclusion facilitators will identify women 
PWDs and try to join them to the SSGs where the funds will be available for carrying on own enterprise. So, this will eventually lead to attitudinal shift from societal level to administrative level where this DIFs who are disability inclusion facilitators will have a fair idea and habit of administrating and here they can readily be included in the policy making. So, hence the person will with disability will provide a greater advantage in policy making and we can frame the customized policy making which will exactly target the problems which have been faced by person with disabilities. And then moving forward we need to be focused on our preamble's idea that is social justice. So, by excluding the person with disabilities we will be going against the social justice. Inclusion of person with disabilities in all developmental areas will help us to realize the social justice aspect. And then coming to 6 point we need to identify there is a bi-directional linkage between poverty and then nutrition and then poverty to health and hunger. So, hence this linkage should be break down by providing opportunities and employment which will uproot their poverty. So, our main focus should be providing and generating the employment for them and create a uh, sensitization and awareness among the general public and private sector players and government to carry on actions which are a person with disability sensitive. So, this is about this article and in conclusion this article says that voices and needs of person with disability should be prioritized in global developmental aspects. For example, our sustainable developmental goals should also be made sensitive towards disability because the problem of intersectionality which we have seen will have a greater and more uh, nuanced impact negative impact on person with disabilities like climate change, like hunger, like health issues which have a greater impact on person with disabilities. So, so we need to chart out the developmental policies which are sensitive to person with disabilities. So, this article provides you the content related to GS2 paper which talks about vulnerable section and then in the year 2022 we have a question in GS2 which talks about the rights to person with disability act is just on paper unless we sensitize the government functionaries and public. So, here as well the question emphasizes on the sensitive creating sensitization to the government functionaries and other public individuals. So, this is all about today we will meet up in our upcoming sessions with more articles. So, thank you.